This is Spoiler here from HitStandNow.com, coming at you with another quick hit. So, I grew up in the 1990s or so, where, uh, video games were kind of, they were kind of finding their feet, if you will. I know they'd been kicking around for a long time, they'd been doing their own thing, but 16-bit was bringing kind of a new kind of life into them, and, uh, everything was really colourful at the time, really coming across really well, the Sonic the Hedgehog, the Street Fighters of the world, huge. Absolutely huge, you know, and uh, it was kind of, it was, it was breathing a new kind of form of life into gaming and arcade life was alive and well and all was good, you know, uh, but it wasn't huge, huge, it was quite fucking big, don't get me wrong, but it was still kind of frowned upon, it was looked down upon quite a lot, you know, especially where I was at least, anyway, I remember kind okay? of, Getting a bit of hassle in school here and there about it, like, you know, nothing major on there, but, you know, people laughing at you if you said that you played this game or that game, and it wasn't the fact that it was that particular game, it was the fact that you were playing video games instead of, say, going out and playing football, you know what I mean, and playing fucking sports. I was kind of looked down, down and smelled upon, it was kind of, uh, it's kind of looked down upon a little, and... It's strange now looking back at that because over the last couple of years I've seen it take a complete and utter turnaround. It's the complete opposite from what it was back when I was a kid. Now video games are everywhere. And I mean everywhere. You turn on the TV at any time of day or night and just to do with video games going on. Whether it's, uh, you know, New shows talking about video game violence, whether it's video game kind of uh, previews and stuff to upcoming video games, where video games just dropping in on every other show because it's regular pop culture now. I was watching a regular show, I watched a bit of regular show, I really enjoy it. You know, I was watching that lately and the, uh, the board and the raccoon find like an old arcade under this house and get chased around by a bad guy from this arcade machine. It all gets a bit sinister, you know? Uh, you look at, say, Wreck-It Ralph, for example. Wreck-It Ralph is an entire movie based around just how big video games have gotten. Look at the amount of cameos in there. You know, everybody in the mother is in there. Zangief, bad guy, is in there. You name it. They're all there. Fucking, uh, uh Chun-Li, you got Princess Daisy hanging out with Princess Peach. You've got q -verse. You've got everybody. If I was stand naming them all off, M. Bison, all the other boys, Road Blaster even get to mention, I'd be here all day just talking about that in particular. You know, look at the Simpsons movie, uh, how uh, they play, what is it, Grand Theft Walrus in there, you know, in a local bar in Alaska. Uh, you've also got, in one of the later episodes of the Simpsons, I haven't watched New Simpsons in quite a while, but I know in one of the later ones, uh, Bart Mother has given out to him, saying, I told you not to be playing those video games online, the priest was telling you not to, and Bart's like, he's playing it with me. You know, and the priest shows up on the screen, and he's like, hey Marge. You know, because video games have just become a part of everyday life in a way that I never really thought they would. The likes of Pac-Man and Mario are now such iconic symbols. You know, they're on every kid's t-shirt, all the big kids like myself are wearing t-shirts of them. You know, uh, a lot of guys are wearing them kind of ironically. Yeah, I like them when I was a kid. Yeah, you know, but uh, everybody's got them. Everybody's wearing this stuff. Everybody's buying mugs with Pac-Man on it to drink that fucking morning coffee out of. It's everywhere. I walk through the streets here in Galway. There's a guy who plays saxophone. He's a uh, busker. There's a lot of buskers on the main street in Galway. It's a beautiful city. It's great for that. You know, uh, it's like a battle of bands of walking men here and there. Music from everywhere. It's absolutely fantastic. But there they are. There's a saxophone player who jams on the fourth level team of Super Mario Brothers on saxophone. There's actually a dial two xylophone players who show up during the summer, which is a massive xylophone set. You know, and they play the same team. You know, and the, look online as well. Just to see how big things have gotten. Musically is a great, actually, a great way of explaining it. Because look at Smooth McGroove, who I'll link you to his channel down below. If you haven't seen this guy, you should. He kind of, uh, he kind of beatboxes video game teams. And he's amazing. 
I mean, he'd probably make it a fine living for himself. Just pumping out fucking Kyle's team a cappella. You know, uh, it's just, it's crazy how part of every, how they become part of everyday life now. You know, everybody and their mother knows that video games are just a done thing now. You know, uh, tournament sizes have become huge. The next uh, Dota tournament that's coming up now during the summer is kicking out more cash than the US fucking golf masters. What the hell? You know, uh, I can't remember the last time I walked into a house that didn't have either an Xbox, a PlayStation, or a Wii in there. More than likely, a Wii. Wiis are everywhere. Everybody owns a Wii. People who don't even play video games own a Wii and play a little game and I. You know, it's absolutely nuts just how, how it's integrated into life now. How pixel art is on, like part of graffiti now. You know what I mean? How everybody's kind of cashing in on video games now as well. Like you'll see it on the front of all the shops and stuff. All the video game stuff are making their products look video game-esque. You know, oh, we're giving a bit of a Space Invaders twist on the uh, window display. Yeah, that'll, that'll bring the customers in. Because it should become part of everything. You know, it, it, it's probably bigger than sports at this stage. I know money-wise it brings in more cash than you in Hollywood, but what do you expect when you're pumping it in for 50 or 60 dollars? Like, you know what I mean? They're bound to pump in more cash, isn't it? You know, uh, I can't remember the last time I went to the cinema and paid 50 quid to see a movie. It's not going to happen. You know, but, uh, but I think it's cool how video games are absolutely everywhere. It's just a wall of gaming at the moment. It's, it's just, it's pop culture. Pop culture has just embraced gaming, especially retro gaming. You know, your early 8-bit kind of stuff. It's just, it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere and it's such a torn base from what was going on 20 years ago when they were almost shunned in many places in many ways and now it's it embraced it's it, it's all over the place and i think that's cool and I, I, i'm really enjoying it i'm sure it's just a phase it's a, probably a bit of a fad that will go back on the ground a little bit in the mean in a little while in a couple of years you know and people will laugh at the idea of uh wearing a Space Invaders t-shirt, you know what I mean? But for the moment, I'm enjoying it. I'm kind of breathing in the atmosphere. I think it's really, really cool because I've been a hardcore gamer all my life and I appreciate that it's being acknowledged at the moment as something something more than just kiddiness. You know what I mean? Something more than just childish. There's actually a bit of substance there and a lot of fun to be had. I respect that at the moment. I'm enjoying that. This is Spud. From hitstandnow.com, signing off. Good luck. Thanks for watching one of our hitstandnow.com quick hits. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You might enjoy some of the other video gaming goodness on this very channel. You can also get us at hitstandnow.com, where we have written reviews, written blogs, and our infamous monthly podcast. Of course, we've also got at hitstandnow on Twitter and hit stand now on Facebook, all of which will be linked down below. Thank you very much.